on the green, gloves for ball scrambling or soft scrambling. In particular, I'm going to compare acrylic outdoor gloves with neoprene wetsuit gloves. These are standard acrylic gloves. They've got a thin fleece lining, which makes them okay for spring and summer and autumn. But your hands get wet and they'll feel cold if it's windy or in temperatures below around 10 degrees. Index finger and uh, thumb on both hands use, uh, can use a phone touchscreen even when they're wet. And they've got uh, anti-slip silicon bars which give a bit of extra grip compared to plain gloves. This is my older pair of acrylic gloves. I've been really happy with them. I uh, use them every week for in-water scrambles. They cost 13 quid from Amazon. Uh, they're called Yobenki Winter Warm Gloves, not actually for winter use, despite the name. These older ones are finally starting to split at the fingertips, but I've used them for a few dozen scrambles. So the cost will ultimately work out at around 30p per scramble. Sadly, you do need to look on scrambling gloves as disposable. They're going to wear out relatively quickly and to be honest the year of use is pretty good going. By contrast these are the heavy duty Osprey wetsuit gloves. They're stiffer so it's a bit like having half wooden fingers. They're thicker so you get less feel. The grip on the rubberized palm dots is not so good as for the acrylic gloves. Cost a bit more at 17 quid and you can't use a phone screen when you have them on. Balanced against that, those kind of relative negatives, they offer a bit more protection from rock damage. They last longer and they keep your hands warmer for longer in cold water and in cold weather. Overall, it's horses for courses. Acrylic for spring to autumn conditions, neoprene for winter conditions. 